All right, folks, heading over to Carl for his review of Total Recall, which I believe this has been done before. I recall that it's been done before, yes, in a much better way. Hooray for irony. Hooray. <laughs> um, let me put it like this. Watching the movie, I'm like, I didn't know what movie I was watching. I felt like I was watching Fifth Element, Minority Report, and um, a little bit of iRobot with Will Smith. And then you, just a real quick mention, you felt like you were watching a little bit of Star Wars because of the Stormtrooper type. And Batman. And Batman. Because of the voice. Because of the, yeah. <laughs> Colin Farrell. Ugh. Um, but... The action, the visuals, beautiful. The story, beep. Nothing against Lynn Wiseman. I loved Underworld, but I, I don't know. I just don't know. They, they, threw th they threw gimmicks that were from the original, like the three boobs in there, and it, and it worked in its own way. But other things was, they even mentioned Mars in the movie. Like one of the recall things you could do is go to Mars. But the movie plays out too much like a like spy versus spy kind of thing and it just I don't know I didn't really like it and Jessica Biel very pretty not the best actress Kate Beckinsale you were so underused in this movie <laughs> Colin funny Farrell funny she's dating the director yeah <laughs> Colin Farrell uh I don't know uh Brian Cranston what happened to the underwear scene no underwear scene in this movie Bill well, Nye Bill Nye I was so looking forward to Bill Nye he's in there for like a total probably Screen time of two minutes. He's more. He's more. He's he's one of those characters in the movie that's mentioned off screen a lot. Like and he's talked about, and you see his face, and you see a little him talking, but you don't get to see the full Bill Nye acting. You know. So I was very disappointed in this movie. Like I said, great visuals. If you if you want those people just going straight to a movie for straight Die Hard type visuals and cool special effects, go see it. But if you're looking for like some, something a little substance. I would go go watch the Total Recall with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now, before you go into your review, there's there is one question I want to ask, and then I got a comment. The one question is, comparing the two movies, the vibe I'm getting is the Arnold Schwarzenegger version was ridiculous, but with a purpose to the point that you kind of could understand where it maybe is a dream. This one seemed like it was played totally poker face straight, yeah. and it came off as ridiculous because it was so right. poker face straight. Yeah. The weird thing is, this, yeah, throughout this whole movie. You, I got. I, well, actually, I got this feeling that like it could be the dream. Like, there's yeah. lots of elements. Like, the the great thing about the Arnold one was was that was that whole sweat part where the guy was sweating. Yeah. And you're like, that's a clear indication. This one, their indication was. But it also could be a projection of his right. subconscious what this, it, what they want to see. This one, they didn't do it so well. And then the very the weird the weird, the weird thing is the way the movie ends. Yeah. You almost go, oh, shit, it could be a dream. That's the problem, though. I hate endings where it's like oh might have never happened but even in a recall movie it's just so sad for me to see so, like this is a story by philip k dick same guy who wrote do androids dream of electric sleep which many of you know as blade runner so <laughs> maybe one of the best sci-fi movies of all time what's up ridley scott sorry if you lost um but i mean to see something that's so like you, between harlan ellison and philip k dick you have pretty much every science fiction awesome movie of like the past 20 years yeah. And to see them do this to that story after it's already been done well, it's almost doubly damned. Yeah. Um, but real quick, uh, review after that. DVD. I almost, I'm, I almost thought about giving it less, but there is some redeeming elements, like if you want to rent it for DVD or Netflix, whatever you do, just to watch it, the special effects. Special effects were great. The little uh, action scenes, definitely the one between Kate Beckinsale and Colin Farrell when he, she, when he first thinks something's wrong. The action scenes are great. The uh, special effects are great. Everything else, not so much. And Brian Cranston playing ba Breaking Bad one more time. So. I don't even know if that was a Breaking Bad imitation. That was just him trying to be like the corporate CEO type guy. Yeah, but he had a vest on. Yeah, that was, was so weird. Ooh. No one wears helmets, but everyone's got vests. Welcome to the future. Uh, it's like, I'm going to be CEO, take my jacket off, and throw an uh, artillery vest on because I can't trust my minions to do my work for me. That was the kind of vibe I was getting. Yeah. But anyway, we'll be back with more here at Shaman Movies on Real Talk NOLA.